Martin tells me that Jane Cassinder was behind this. She acted fast. That means she's afraid. Rajani was full of lies about the Legion. We set her free as a sign of goodwill. If we can make Jane see that she's wrong. You're an idealist, Martin. Don't assume our enemies have honor. Least of all, Jane Cassinder. Why is Jane Cassinder so determined to kill us? The woman's a mystery. Always has been. As far as we know, she was raised by the Azanite Church. An orphan, maybe. Or a rich man's bastard daughter. Must have been 18, 19 years old when the king died. She paraded through the streets of Bisselberg, claimed he'd been murdered by the Legion. Was there any truth in what she said? No. My father would never have died for the Legion if he'd believed Jane's lies. Some Legionnaires did believe. Beaumont of St. Ellis, Garen Marcel, prominent men. They renounced the Legion, stood by while the rest of us were hunted and killed. Our numbers are too few. Can we find more men and women of Legion blood? Might be a few left. Not enough to build an army. But if we spread the word that the Legion has returned, we can rally Jane's enemies against her. We should start by reclaiming the Grand Chapter House, the old Legion headquarters in Stonebridge. Have you heard any news from Stonebridge? If I had to guess, more smokestacks, more spinning machines, more metal men clanking through the streets. So the Stonebridge Chapter House is different than the others? It's bigger, grander. They built it during our Golden Age, after the heroes destroyed the Sec. We claim that chapter house, hang our banners out front, people will hear that the Legion's returned. Are you sure the chapter house wasn't destroyed? By the people of Strunbridge? No, they never would. It's their mark of shame. Reminds them how they betrayed the Legion, and they don't dare forget. How do we get to Stonebridge, then? Stonebridge lies to the south and west, on the far side of the swamp. Lazar's people have repaired the bridge, so the road should be open again. Martin and I will stay here for now. Help the locals rebuild. We owe them. They've endured a great deal for our sake. We have a causeway gate here. Surely there must be another in Stonebridge. There is, but it's shut. Montbaron ordered most of them closed to stop Jane Cassinder from using them against us. A causeway gate can only be opened from the outside, and only by a privileged few. Why send me? We could all go together. The Radiant Youth chose you for a reason. You're meant to lead us, not Martin, not me. All right, I'll head south for Stonebridge. Jane Cassinder controls most of the land between here and Stonebridge. Her soldiers wear the raiment of the Azronite Church. Avoid them if you can. Once you're inside the chapter house, look for the causeway gate. Open it, and you can bring the rest of us through. You're the vanguard of the Legion. All our hopes go with you. Is repaired, just as Martin said. There you are. This may sound strange, but I was told to wait for you here. Told? By whom? A child, a boy with golden hair and piercing eyes, who spoke like no child I have ever met. Did you follow us into the Mornweald? No. He came to me in a waking dream. I know better than to doubt a vision, especially one so clear. My father was Hugh Montbaron, Grand Master of the Legion. A proud man, I'm told, but not immune to my mother's seduction. Illegitimate, perhaps, but I think she tells the truth. I've seen paintings of the Montbarons, and she has the same pale eyes. The resemblance is striking, actually. Especially to Hugh. 
I do not know why this golden child chose me, but I believe I can be of help to the Legion, if you let me. Does your sister know that you're planning to leave? Leona's word does not bind me. I decide whose company I keep, and she knows better than to forbid me what I want. If only the rest of the world knew the same, life would be much simpler. So you haven't told her? Not exactly, but we'll be long gone before she finds out, no? Your mother seduced my father? So, the stories about the Skansi witches are true. What stories are those? The ones told to jealous wives by poxy-faced men? Of black-hearted witches who ravished them in the dark of night? Those stories are fancies, but they hide a deeper truth. Lescanti witches have discerning taste. We will seduce a foreign man, but only if he is strong, clever, handsome. He'd pass those traits to your children, and your clan would be stronger. We are a practical race, no? 500 years of wandering has taught us to claim any advantage we can. If you're a Mont Baron, then you're part of the Legion, and my family. We could use your help. Even if the child had not appeared to me, you are family. Of course I will help. We journey south, no? To Stonebridge? I know the roads, and charming company makes long miles less dreary. I wonder what caused this. In any case, we shall not pass this way, I think. None shall pass this. Look, you idiots, they're legion heirs. Get them!
Anyone that kills Azanites is a friend of ours. General Devonsey is further on ahead. Just follow the path. Anyone that kills Azanites is a friend of ours. General Devonsey is further on ahead. Just follow the path. Jane's fanatics have won the day, it seems. Stand away there. Not so close to the general. Never mind. I can hardly be called a general, with Her Majesty's army lying dead all around us. Sorry, Lord Devonsey. Sir. Forgive the boy. A few months ago he was a royal page. Now he's a soldier. Such are the depths to which we have fallen. I'm surprised to see any travelers on the road with so many of Jane Cassinda's soldiers about. What brings you to this ill-omened place? We were sent by the Legion. We're heading south to reclaim the old chapter house in Stonebridge. The Legion? So the rumors are true. A gathering in the north. The rebirth of the old Legion. That's beside the point, though. I'm afraid you're stuck here with the rest of us. The western road has collapsed and we're surrounded on all sides by impassable swamp. All the dead soldiers were yours? How did this happen? Jane Cassandra's army was encamped in the swamp. I thought I'd catch her unaware, send her scrambling back to the spire. So I force marched out of Glitterdale, sighted her troops at the base of the cliffs, and gave chase. In the first charge, we drove half her forces into the bogs. I could see Jane not 50 feet from my lines. She had nowhere to run. You smelled victory, and that's when the battle turned. Jane sent a few of us sappers round back of my lines. They collapsed the roads behind me. A clever move. I'll give her that. Half my army, the young ones mostly, saw their escape route cut off. Didn't matter that we were winning. They panicked, broke and ran. Some of the veterans held their ground and died where they stood. The rest retreated here. She boxed you in with her forces on one side and the bogs on the other. Killed half my people with the cannons. The rest tried to flee into the bogs and drowned. And here I am, trapped in this swamp, cut off from the Queen. She has only her maids to protect her now. What about those massive roots? We can walk across them like a road. Indeed, they'd support her weight, and my cannons and wagons too. But the roots are separated by stretches of water. In order to create a path, we'd have to raise the land between them. Impossible, you might say. But I have a man in my army with power over earth and stone. A scholar called Phineas. If only he were here. We need to find this scholar, Phineas. Where is he gone? He was among the first to be taken by the damned savages. They fell upon us not long after the battle, and they've been mounting raids and abducting our wounded ever since. I'll gather whatever men I can, the ones who can still fight, and we'll meet you there. <laughs> 